Alrighty, welcome back. I'm your man, Bad Chad, and Queen Jolene's on the camera, and we got Nate in the house. Nate's doing awesome, painting and putting stuff on the engine and putting it on the car. It looks fantastic. But today, I'm going to paint the Bugatti um, window. <laughs> I'm going to paint the inside of the window uh, for um, Paul to come back and put the window in the Bugatti. And the reason we want to put the window in the Bugatti, because I cannot tell, I cannot get a true read with the dash in the steering wheel without the window being in it. So if I want to put the window in it, I do not want to put the window in it with just the primer around here. I do not want to do that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do it right in front of your very eyes. It shouldn't take me that long, but uh, let, let's do it. I'll put a pair of glasses on. Jolene looks amazing this morning. Jolene got me coffee in bed this morning. God bless her. She's, a, she's an excellent friend. Let's do this. I'm just going to take a piece of, I don't know, this is 220 or 400. But I do want to sand where that paint is going. And the reason I want to sand where that paint is going is just like Jolene's fingernails. If you do not sand um, before you paint, you do not generally have a good outcome. Exact same thing with Jolene's nails. If she did not sand her nails before she glued the plastic nail on, they probably wouldn't adhere that nice. Uh, the day that she almost ripped her fingernail off, she turned all white into a ghost and I had to carry her to the bottom of the basement of the house and everything, Nathan. It was, I, I said, good job on gluing them nails on. I didn't realize you were getting so into nails and stuff. Well, she does it once in a while. <laughs> <It's right there. laughs> she does it once in a while. I just know that, I, that you know, women pay a lot of money for, for to have their nails look nice. And Jolene outperforms them because she does it herself and does just as good a job as anybody else, I would say. Oh, she's even showing her nails now? Aww. So what I'm going to try to do is get all three of these cars done before we go to Australia. And that's tomorrow. No, I'm just joking. Uh, we got a little while yet, but Nate's doing a good job on the Hudson. He'll have that one done before I'm done, no doubt in my mind. <laughs> if we keep getting parts for it. <laughs> Get parts for it. Parts! That's the problem. That sounded like when we first did TV. He said, where's all the parts? I said, parts? We didn't get no money. <laughs> <laughs> parts. He didn't know they were out in the junk pile. <laughs> so we got the window going in. We got the rubber back there on the 50. It's in the trunk there. We got the window going in this bad boy. And uh, it's going to give me a true read on things. Then I can tape the window up and have it, have it in there all time. Tape the window up. We have, we'll have paint underneath the window. And then we can carry on from there. But uh, in all honesty, I was in the car last night and I was going to mask it all up uh, to spray all this. And there's just, what is the sense? I'm just going to take a spray bomb and go around it and uh, put a little paint on it. That's all it needs is some paint underneath there on that primer. This is the exact same thing if you were putting a vinyl roof on a car. You would never want to put the vinyl roof just on top of the primer. You'd want to sand and paint that vinyl roof before you put it on. How do I know? I've done it before. And sometimes it don't work out the greatest. You know, basically what I'm saying. This window opening is from a Volvo. This car started out as a junk Volvo and I took it outside and cut it in half. Cut everything off it, cut it in half and made this peanut body here, I guess. When I started, people probably thought I had a peanut <coughs> brain, but I did it. Did it, baby. I did it. I said to last night, I said, baby, I can stay here and get this all painted for you tonight, she said. She said, nope, I want to go to the basketball game, so that's what we did. And I was willing to work, boys, I was willing to work. She said, nope, get changed. We're going to play more basketball. And we went to the Acadia basketball game, which was good, but they lost. They got out-hustled is what they got. They got out-hustled. And the other team was a little bit bigger, did you find? Yeah. Team was a little bit bigger. We got a back side of this lip here that we have to do. Inside this part, inside the dash, this part here, I want, I want to uh, black that part out. That's what I want to do. And when I get the window in, get the rubber in, then I can tape the, win the rubber off and the window off on the inside. Then I can black all this out. If I start blacking the inside out, and then I got this window open. It all comes outside and start doing the... It's kind of... 
discouraging sometimes, unless you get it right. Inside here, there's a, a cover that comes down here, a, a molding, a trim piece that comes in there. You can see where it screws on the holes. There's not much you can do in there when there's material in there for the headliner and that sort of stuff. It's hard to deal with, but... We'll get a little sandpaper going. And the window that we got for the car come from the mail. It was delivered from the mail. Like, it's kind of weird, obviously. But I've never had a window delivered in the mail, but Jolene did it somehow. Did you ever get a window delivered in the mail? No, sir. In a box? No, sir. So I don't know, to be honest with you, but, but we got the rubber, we got the window, and we got the stainless that goes around it. And I find this car looks a lot better with the window in it. It looks a lot better with the window in it, doesn't it? This, it just gives it a look. I think it looks a little bit better. I've seen somebody posted a picture of this car and the green car. They don't look nothing alike. Well, I didn't build the green car. <laughs> You're right, they don't look nothing alike. I didn't build the green one. It was the black one um, of Ralph Morris. And they're not supposed to look alike anyways, are they? <laughs> they're all different. <laughs> Alrighty. I am going to blow that off a little bit. I'm just gonna actually I'm just gonna wipe it off with a rag. <coughs> Looks clean to me. I'm not gonna get a whole bunch of <sighs> whole bunch of dust going. I don't want a whole bunch of dust going. I just want to get some paint on the lip of the window. can't make a video without a grinder going, ever. I, well, I can't make a video without a grinder going. <laughs> if the grinder's not going, there's no work being done. <laughs> sort of. <laughs> Nathan has got the short water pump there. And every I, book, I, this water pump is a different length. <laughs> is that right? Yep. Okay. So we got a short water pump there. That's the first time. I never really realized that Chev had a short water pump and a long water pump, but that's a short one there. There's just more room on all the pulleys and stuff. Awesome. And they're saying that's Corvette, is it not? Corvette, and I think the Monza Spider. Okay. With the 305, and a few of them are the same. Yeah, I've got some white paint in a spray bomb. It's just white paint. It says it's good for metal, wood, and fiberglass. Remember, excuse me, remember that the rubber's going over top of this. All I want is white is paint underneath that. It's a lacquer paint. It should dry quick. That's what I'm going to do. how I feel this morning. Cha, cha, cha. It's been a while since we've been up dancing, hasn't it, baby? Huh? Looks like you had a good time at the shore club there that night, not the shore club in the bay dancing. Yes, me and Jolene was up there dancing. Yes, we was. Yeah. All right, I'm just going to, I'm going to become a, what's that, a graffiti artist. Because I'm just going to paint that seam all the way around there. I don't want to paint the rest of the car. I just want to paint that seam. down there. It matters, but not this second. Uh, it could spray with any kind of color spray bomb, I suppose. Um, any color. But I'm thinking underneath the rubber on this Bugatti, I'm thinking that it would be nice to have white. And the reason being, if the rubber ever pulled back, or I'm not sure, just make it white. I got enough spray bones, baby. I could spray this car today. 
Nathan sprayed a carb spray bomb for him. You Nathan? Yeah, more than once. More than once? Because <laughs> you were in trouble or just because you want to change the car lock? It was a quick, easy change the look and put it down the road so it looked more presentable. I agree with you 100%. At the time. If this this is this is not, not it's not saying my pet peeve, but it's one of the things that I don't understand is if someone's fixing their car, why spray a different color paint on it? You know what I mean? Like spray a different color. You might as well get the spray bomb that matches your car if you're gonna put paint on it. You may as well. Hadn't you? And I've done it many times too, but I let's face it. You did make some Volkswagens in the 80s that every panel was a different color, didn't they? You had like a Volkswagen Rabbits or something. In they the probably 80s. didn't sell much, much of those, did they? I remember they, they were some. So we got window going in today, or later on today. Hopefully Paul, Paul shows up. And uh, he seems to be doing good. Uh, he had a, a case of throat cancer. And um, he said he was out running his snowmobile the other day, so I'm, I'm thinking that he's, he's getting stronger. And uh, I hope him the best. I mean, that'd be quite a fight, you know. And let's get inside this bad boy. I'm going to have to we'll move the welder up here and just hold that door open, maybe. Or you want to hold the door open? Haven't got anything. We're going to need something on the bottom or on the back here to hold the door. We hold it like, don't let it go. Best you can, sweetheart. Ah, this car is so small. My, I'm telling you. It was built for a, for just a small girl, I think. Just want to get paint on that lip. That's all I need it. Hopefully we're not getting anything else. I don't think we are. Flip, so it's pretty good. This car has not been, not been sanded yet, so all the white paint that you feel like going on the primer is okay. It's okay. The reason it's okay because it's still not sanded yet. Baby, looks all right. It's all right. It's okay. We're here for another day. Yeah. yeah there's nothing going in there. That's fine. Let's do it one more time. We'll go around it one more time, and then uh, we'll call it a day. Hey, this stuff will dry good. There'll be paint underneath the rubber. I've already told that joke so many times. What do you do with 365 used rubbers, Nathan? <laughs> do you know? Make a tire and call it a good year? <laughs> That's the one. That's the one. <laughs> Recycle, reuse. Alrighty, I'm thinking that we're, we are ready for a window, and the reason I'm saying we're ready for a window is because we have paint all around that lip on top of the primer where we had stripped it, and uh, it's looking good. And it's nice too with this spray bomb that I'm doing with, 
There's not a whole bunch of overspray that's going on the carrier. Once you get that paint on top of that primer, it's hard to get, go through that paint to get to the primer. It is. How do I know? Because <laughs> I've done it. There, I'm, I'm saying that. That's it. Like when you don't rub your tape real well and you unmask the tire and there's overspray in and around in places. I know. It's great fun. I'm going to do this side. And the reason I'm, I'm doing this first thing this morning, Joanie's going on, going on a date without me. She never invited me. And she's taken off. And um, she's not, Joanie's going, that's, that's not true, that's not true. Come hold the door again, please. You hear? So I have to hear you cry all morning? Is that yeah. what's going to happen? Yeah, that's what buddies do. Yeah. That's what buddies do. Listen to other I'm people. here for you, buddy. Huh? I'm here for you? I'm here huh? for you. I'm here for you. <laughs> <laughs> Cry away. I just want to put a little paint in, more paint in here. I'm just, you know how it is when you do something, I guess. You want to make it, I guess, just want to make sure I'm doing, it looks good. That's what I want to make sure. Now I'm getting vicious. The fight white paint everywhere, Zach. Eh? Nothing's going on, nothing. That's, that's fine. All right, that's how easy it is, I guess, to get your window ready for your, for your car. Prime it, get it in paint, and get ready. I'm happy with the white color. It's not the white color that we're gonna be going on the car, but it is white, so it's, it will sort of, hopefully, um, if anything ever happens, you'll, yeah, it's all good. It's all good. I'm just gonna put this back. So that's good there. I, I would say that's pretty well done for that. Um, he's obviously coming here to do windows today. So we're basically, we've got the 50 in there. We're waiting for, or not, not waiting for, we've got the 50 all primed and everything rock and roll and looking real good. Uh, we have the garnish moldings primed up front. They need a little bit of work yet, but the car's looking, I think the car's pretty well got it. A little bit of here and there. Uh, the car's looking real good. Have not got headlight doors yet. I have not got headlight doors yet. I'm not going to paint the car unless I have headlight doors. And I uh, haven't got them yet. I want them, but I haven't got them. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn my attention to uh, the Hudson. Uh, we got the windows put in the front. We got the windows put in the side. Uh, this one took the factory window. And then the one in the back, it did, not, it did not get glued in because it did not finish it. So what I'm going to do is, is I'm going to just pull the hose back. Um, we might push the Bugatti head a little bit, and then we're gonna push this car head a little bit, and I'm gonna to try to get this back here working so we can put, a, put the back window in. We've got it cut, um, it just not get, did not get applied because I did not get it finished. So let's, let's finish that at the same time. Let's do that. Appreciate everybody coming back, we really appreciate it. There's so many small things when it comes to building a car that you do not see. That you do not you do not see. I guess I don't have to pull that ahead. I can just leave that there for now. But we will bring that car ahead a little bit. There might be a wheel block in front of the okay. car. From the back one there. No, it seems to be no. fine. You must already move. See if we can shove her ahead. When you're ready. Is that good for you, Nate? Um, Oh, I got all kinds of room right here. If you're okay, good. cool. If you're get all kinds no of room, until whenever you're good. That's fantastic. Fantastic. I'll take this and take that. Alrighty. Back. See what I got going on here. I got to clean a mess up in the back, but that's okay. You can see right here. See how the when the when it come down when I chop the roof when it come down there's a there's a piece inside there I can't lay a window. I can lay a window against this, but there's nothing there, so I'm gonna have to fill this in all the way across the top and down around the back. So he can lay something in there, and we're going to do it here, right in front of your very eyes, I guess. Ooh, that's a mess. 
something about trying to save that stuff. I'm not sure if that's worth saving or not. <laughs> the Packard caps would look good on the on the 50, but we've got a place for the Packard caps, so there's no taking them off. Get this all out of here. The old, uh, the old uh, squirrels played, played devastation on this one. They ate holes right straight. I would say the squirrel. There were so many nuts and things packed in there, but they ate straight through the seat on the bottom of that bad boy. And it's a shame, but they did. You know, it's a shame. All the gifts and people sent us with. You know, with the Hudson inside the car. So if you're, you know, we still have them, obviously. The Hudson complete. This is 37. Ours is 36, is it not? Mm -hmm. This car, this guy made here, this is fantastic. You know, he even put their tires in it. He put our bumper guard on it. Did, did an awesome job, he did. I'm going to set this stuff aside. We'll put it right up on top here so we don't, don't get damaged. But I stuck that stuff all inside the car. There's also a hood, a hood ornament that was broke that someone had made us that's still inside the car the transmission mount we have a new one put in there I'm not sure there's bolts and nuts and stuff have our dummy spots this car looks really cool when it's all together like it really I think it does anyways And this project here, I'm, I'm thinking if you, anybody could grab an old car like this and, and slide a motor in it. Um, it reminds me of like an old mobster car. What's that? It reminds me of like one of the old mobster cars. It does, doesn't movies. it? Yeah. Yeah. So I like about it. I think we could have been mobsters. A gangster? Mobster gangsters. Yeah. yeah. I think we so this is our, we got our glass in the back here. It's all cut. So if I can get something in there, that's all cut. Back quarter, left, right, 36 Hudson. So that's the glass there. It's been cut. We'll get this and put it up here somewhere. Nope, not putting it there. We'll lay it right there. So somehow, some way, I've got to make that work and get a light, shine some light on my life. Jolene's the light of my life. That's the one. Baby, huh? That's the one. That's the one. You light up my life. I could have put tape on here, but I didn't. Either one or war, she would have took the, you know. And Okay, see a couple pieces down there. Okay, that's good. Now, we'll just look over here. Now we've got this window. You can see how I've got this lip here. It's not flush with that lip there. How am I gonna make that? I need a lip like this to glue, glue the window to the lip, as that's what I was thinking. Or we could make something, bolt something here to hold the window up for that. Hmm. What do you suggest? Piece of round rod, stick it up in there and flatten it off. I can take a piece of round, let's try that. I don't know if as if I wanna, I can put a nine, make a 90 and do the shrinker, sh shrinker stretcher thing, but uh, I'm not sure. And that's not long enough, obviously. Two pieces of round rod. I got this here. What am I gonna make that of, sweetheart? You have any ideas? Nathan. Yes, sir. You have any quick ideas for to build that out? What are what you doing? You haven't seen it yet? No. See that see this lip? See that lip right there? Right. See that lip right there? I'm gonna make that flush all the way around. I'm just thinking I I know that I can draw that shape out. But I'm alright, I I think I know what I'm gonna have to do. 
Um, I could take and make a 90 and put it in the shrinker stretcher and make that shape. That one there would be a bit tough, if you know what I'm trying to say. Or I could just run, make two pieces, a flat piece to go around, and then weld a, a flat piece on the front of it to go around, if you know what I mean. Like it's, I'm trying to fix it as easy as possible, but there's no easy fix other than doing what it needs to be done, is there? Yeah. Um, okay. I'm just going to make two pieces, I think. The shrinker stretcher, I, I find sometimes I do the shrinker stretcher, it takes back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, when I can... Let's do this. Let's do this. I was going to piece a piece of ramrod and make that shape and then grind the ramrod flat and mold that in there, but it's only going to give me that much lip, you know if what I mean? If you had a piece of sheet metal laid up in there, marked it, and cut a quarter inch and put right. a ramrod between the two, but then it's more work. That's... Yeah, 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 I could do that, but... Half dozen one the other, isn't it? Yeah. Half dozen one the other. I need a piece of cardboard. I wonder. Take the biggest piece. I'm going to do this. I have a mark. I'm going to mark in my pocket. That window should give me the shape. Instead of me trying to make a shape in there, this window should give me the shape. It should. I don't want to break it. Not long enough. I could use... His paper, his pattern he got here. I could use that. That one's that one, I think. There's the pattern right there. I'll just take this pattern that he has. Put that in between my windows. Nothing gets scratched up too bad. Let's do this. We'll cut this pattern. And it actually gives me uh, that distance. It's quite a nice distance for that window to glue on. So I might have everything right there. I have to do a damn thing other than pay attention. Sometimes that's hard to do. That's right. Paying attention is hard to do, isn't it, Nate? Sometimes you're right. All right. Glasses and... Went down, got wood this morning, and Fiend was outside the door just barking at me get in the house. I couldn't get that wood fast enough. She was on me. She was on me. She was on me, wasn't she? So we only have, so far, down. So we'll go down as far as I think we need. So you know why this didn't get done last time, because... Do this. Hope he doesn't need this pattern because I'm cutting it up. It's got a certain distance going on here. It doesn't seem like a bad distance for what we're doing to glue that window on the face. It's cold out there, Fina. I know. Get you in here. Can't leave it there cold. Coming? Hold on. Hold yeah. On. Yeah, it's cold it here. Cold it here. I don't want to be up there either. Set that right there. Alrighty. Little treats, I know. I know. I'm gonna go on the inside and try to stick this bad boy on there and see what happens. Oh, you Let's do it on this side. Beautiful. Not as beautiful as you, Jolene, but beautiful. Um, let's mark this. It's going to be 
trying, but mark this one where it cuts off there. And then we'll mark this one down the back. Not sure if I think if I want to weld <laughs> weld this whole thing up with the seats in it. Probably would go up like a like a toaster. There's a mouse in the house. Alrighty. I'm thinking that they're probably both about the same. Probably no doubt in my mind. That's the shape I want. I haven't got no round rod. I have got a piece of metal though. Do this. Get this cleaned off. We need two of these. Uh, excuse me. Oh. Something like this, you you want to do it in a quite a fashionable time because it's I don't know what to say. It's a. Uh, I haven't got them. We need two, two of them. We have company, I sound like company. Morning, Cecil. So, it's okay, Fina. It's okay. Cecil's bringing us our parts. It's okay. Morning, Cecil. It's Cease. okay. It's all right. Morning, Cecil. Morning, Cecil. Now, yeah, let's cut this bad boy open, see what we got here. Nathan was just crying for those gaskets. Nathan just crying for these, is he? No, not yeah, really. Yeah, that's the one. Yeah, <laughs> no, no. She a tear first thing this morning, Cecil. Yeah. Huh? She had a little tear first thing this morning, Cecil. Cecil. That's right. Well, we knew, we knew they were coming. How are you doing, Steve? Good. Having any fun or what? I guess the main thing is just try to stay on the line the best they can. Nope. We'll have to straighten this out after, no yeah. doubt in my mind, because it does stretch the metal a little bit, this, this shear, but yeah. it's fine for what we're doing. There's more than one way to do this. What I'm doing inside there, like there's more than one way. There's probably three or four different ways, but I'm going to choose my this way because I think it's going to be just a little bit faster for me. And I'll be so happy. And the reason being is we'll have patterns for the 50. We need for the front window, the side windows. All the, we're going to do all the windows except for the back one. The reason being is. I'm not going to do just the front and the two back quarter windows because Nathan did get the side windows working, but we'll put all new windows around it. And then Jolene's window is going in her Bugatti today. You watched me paint that. And then we'll end up finishing the windows for that. It really feels good for things to come around and um, things being getting done. Feels good. And what can I say? 
Um, they all take time. They all take time. They all take time. Even our, even our delivery man is into old cars. Been into old cars for probably most of his life. Cecil Kane, he's been to old cars all of his life. Uh, first car club I ever joined was, Cecil was in it. He was the president for 14 years? Yep. Oh, wow. Nobody wanted, to be Nobody wanted to be president anymore? That's a, it's a hard thing, you know, when something doesn't really matter a whole bunch, but yet everybody wants it, and nobody wants to look after it. That's right. That's the worst of it. Had a lot of good times. Yeah. That's where I got my feet wet in the old car business, old cars. You got half a fleet of cars now, Cecil. So huh? You got half a fleet of cars now, so. I got three. Four. <laughs> I think my last thing sold. I'm not sure. Oh, yeah. You, what, your newer one? Your yellow one? Yeah. Well, if he wants to buy it and you're getting your price, I think you're, you've made a deal. Oh, there you go. Summer's coming, is it not? You sell it or you keep the big one that you're putting together there? Will you replace it with another one? Will you replace it with another one? Three now. <laughs> I got 54. Yeah. I got 64. And I got a 59 Ranchero. Oh, I thought you were going to say, and I don't need no more. I don't need no more. <laughs> All right, there you go. Oh, you picked up a 59 well, Ranchero. Right okay, Cecil. See, so, see you later. Thank you. Oh. That's kind of wound up there a little bit. I'm not sure which gauge of metal I grabbed, but. I don't think it's the 18. There was a gauge of 20, 20 there. I think I probably grabbed that. It's all right. It's okay. It's all right. Um, should I straighten one out, make one, put one on, or just cut them both out? Okay, I got another one there to cut like that, but I am going to show you exactly what I'm going to do to get it done. So I'll make one, and then I'll do the other one exactly the same. Just picked up the ranchero because he didn't have that a couple weeks ago when I was over. Yeah, right. Yeah, he must have just got it. You worked with Cecil for how long? Oh, I worked with Cecil back right out of high school for doing mechanic work and stuff for a while, and, and then I now I give him a hand on some of his old stuff that he can't get up and around at every now and then. Known Cecil for probably 25, 26 years. Well, there you now. go. Sometimes people ask us, you know, what's it like where we live? It's the smallest place where we live. And everybody that's into old cars, I think pretty well knows everybody else. Yeah, it's hard to go to town in your old vehicle and not have to wave 15 or 20 times and get somewhere. <laughs> I just look the other way. <laughs> No, you look straight ahead. Usually, yeah, you look straight ahead. Uh, well, I have to pay attention. See, I got I got Jolene in, on cargo, right? <laughs> I have to pay attention. And if I don't, um, she'll let me know. Of hey, course. there's a car stopped up ahead of you. <laughs>
just want to get the sharpies off this bad boy. Sharpies. Yeah, this sharp. Sharpie McSharpers. Okay, so what I'm going to do now, like I said, there's more ways to do this than what I'm doing. That's for sure. There's a couple more ways. But I'm trying to do it as fast as I can. Let's do this side because Joanne can see better. Now, that there is my shape. All right, now, all, now I, what I do is I got a distance. So I got to bring it out this way. And my distance is right here that I need. It's just tiny, tiny, tiny. So what I'm going to do is... Uh, maybe I should have done it with, with the shrinker stretcher, maybe. No, let's, let's go for it. I don't know if I would have got that bend like that, to be honest with you. I don't, I need that length. Let's do this. Gonna move this again. Sometimes having a place to put lay stuff down is can, sometimes can be the worst. If you want bad shed sunglasses, you can get them. <laughs> They're pretty comfortable. <clears throat> That's so I can look cool in the garage. All right, let's grab this piece. We need a sliver off this. And the reason we need a sliver off it is because I'll grind it to what I need or sand it. And I'm just going to take a sliver off this piece here. <clears throat> I don't know how much I can cut off this without this um, without this bending over because it's such a long piece. Let's see if I can get it a little bit shorter so it'll cut better. Cut off that much at least. Make a mark down here. I'm just making a mark here, in there. I do not care if it's straight, whether, well, I want it straight, a straight line, but basically what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add it to that. So if you don't have a shrinker stretcher, this is the way I would do it. And if you do have a shrinker stretcher, you're more welcome to it. But I am not going that way, I'm going this way. And the reason I'm going this way is I'm not sure. It could be a little bit faster, it could be a little bit slower, I don't know. Let's do this. Got a welder right here. Turn the gas on. Got my extra, set, extra set of goggles right there. Throw that on the floor. Probably should have done it before I threw it in the other building, got the glass ready for that. But I guess when I was done, I was done. Now we're going to continue on. Turn the heat down a little bit. Don't have to have it that high. Gas is on. Marker my pocket. My Queen Jolene by my side. We'll weld this bad boy on there. Give us a little piece for around that back of that window. <clears throat> Many different ways to do this. Yes, there is. Now, I'm counting on the line to be straight. No matter if it's thicker at this end or thicker at that end, it still should be a straight line. So I'm just going to add that line, that straight line, to this. So that'll straighten this piece out, hopefully, to make it work. Do I want it on the top side or the bottom side? I want it on the Upside, do I not? Huh? Yeah, what side? Just to make sure what side I put it on. Um, I'm going to say this side, I'm going to make it a little bit long in case.
close my eyes as I weld that on there. This is the stuff you generally don't see when it comes time to fix your car or chop your car. You generally don't see this stuff. What took you so long? Well, I had to go around the window and do this. Well, that's what... Stuff you don't see. Tap it so it's around. Oh, my first one come undone. Cut this off. I guess this is the plan. Wrong already. You know why? Has to go on the inside. Heck, it doesn't go on the top side. It goes on this side. Let's just put it, let's go, let's go for a second here. Just take it. That's all right though. That's all bad, that's okay. If you know what I'm saying, I got this in here. I've got the piece on the top. It's supposed to be on this side. Wrong side, people. Wrong side, Hiltzy. Well, that's okay, let's knock it off. Just got it tacked on there, let's do it again. Sure, I probably should have paid attention a little bit before I done it. Um, I want to sand that, make that a little smoother on the inside, if I can. Pump on there. You might end up changing this one motor mount a little bit too. Oh. So you're going to have to? Might have to for a hose, right? Change this mount a little bit for a hose. It's always, it's, it's, yeah, I'm telling you, it's always something, isn't it? Yep. When we put the engine in this yesterday, uh, the engine went in and it went in okay. And Nathan was having a hard time, hard time down there by the uh, transmission mount. Cause we already had one in there that was in there easy. Right. When we put this, we never put this engine transmission in before, but it had a bolt coming out of the transmission tail shaft instead of yeah. having it bolt going in. And it, had long, it was long enough that it hit inside the car and it wasn't allowing it to shove up. So you had to let the thing down, cut it off, put it back up. It was, it was a time, wasn't it? It was just one of them things we, you know, I should have noticed it, but we... Same, same as this thing right here. I should have noticed I was supposed to put it on the bottom, not the top. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah, it happens. Like... Man, I snapped that on there good. I did, I did.
Wrong side, I guess. Huh? Yeah. Break off. There we go. Making it hard on myself, aren't I? Huh? Making it hard on myself. And it's only early. <laughs> it's only early. You said it. Uh, I'm going to draw up and make a new one. I don't like that. It's all crooked on me. I'm going to make a new one. I don't like it. Cut another one off. Went all squirrely when I bent it, I guess. Hopefully I can cut another one the exact same. Because that worked out so nice. So lovey-dovey. Better. Better. Yeah, we're on the inside. Not the outside, the inside. See if I can get that planted on there. I hope I don't have to cut that one off again. <laughs> Maybe it went on the outside because it was easier as place to stick it on. That's what happened. Twisted and Fit, that's all. See how I'm welding them closer together this time? This time, so I go to take it apart, I can't get it apart. <laughs> Just joking.
what it, what it needs. Push it back in. Alrighty. Back in biz. Back in biz. Sorry for taking you through that adventure, but sometimes it happens. So, that bad boy there has to be connected there. And then we'll trim. It only needs a little bit, so. I'm gonna have to trim that to fit. Actually, I could weld that right along there like that. And then my glass can sit right against that. I have to cut this off in the back here some. Um, hmm. What I might do, this is a little bit long. This little piece here is a little bit long. Uh, I have to remember when I do this side, this piece will have to go on the other side of this thing because there's a left and a right going on here. I've already messed up once. So let's not do it again. So what I'm thinking is I'll just push. You can see how if I put that against there, this is out too far. If I put the fit right against the window like that, there's a fit right against it. It's out too far. If I take it and put it, put it in there and tack it on right where it should be, and then I can tack this piece onto the outside of the window. Then I have to put a little fill or tack it on the outside of the window here. And then I'll have to fill a little bit around there. I think that'll be fine. Sure, it will be fine. We got to put it in there so it's right too. It's got to be cut. It's got to be cut down here so it does fit. There's too much down here. I got too much in the corner. I'm going to cut that right now. the shrinker stretcher I'd be going back forth the other room and trying it and keep going for it I suppose I would have the pattern to do it just trying to talk to myself wondering if I went the right way or not if I should have done the other way piece on the outside here. I can stick it in here and weld it on the outside here and then fill it there. Probably what I'll end up doing. We'll shove that up in there and then yeah that's basically what I'll do. And then I'll leave that out and I'll tack it all the way up and through here. What time is it? One hour? So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna clean this up a bit. I'm gonna jam this up in there. I'm gonna clean on the top of this window along here and I'm gonna tack this up inside here. Up inside there. Then this piece here will give me something for the window to glue to. And I got two of them to make. All right, thanks a lot for coming back everybody. I really appreciate it. If you, if you mess up, um, it's not about the mess up. It's about, it's about how fast you can recover. And um, basically, I cut it back off and went for it and did it again. And uh, I tried to recover from my mistake. And that's basically all you can do when something like that happens, is try to recover as fast as you can. Thanks a lot for coming back. We really appreciate it. Nathan will have some more done on the engine and stuff like that. That is very making me very happy how that's looking. And uh, you guys have a great day. Come back tomorrow. And no doubt we will be here. We will be here.